Hello everyone, welcome to Adopact World's YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Google Analytics in WordPress. My name is Robert Jameson. What actually is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is a free web analytics tool provided by Google to help you analyze your website traffic data. Now with Google Analytics installed on your WordPress website, you get to know the people who visit the site, you get to know the locations of people who visit the website, you get to know the pages visited by visitors, you get to know how long they stayed on your, on your website, you get to know what captured their attention, you get to know what people do when they are on your website, you get to know how people find your website. And you also get to know which other website actually directed people to your website. Now, to go ahead with this, one thing that you must do is to actually have a Gmail account ready. That is, of course, if you don't already have one. So now, once you have your Gmail account set up, all you need to do is to uh, head onto your browser and open um, log into your WordPress dashboard like I've done here. Then the next thing is to click close and you know open a new. Um, tab and then you type in analytics of google.com and hit your sub button now uh you must take cognizance of this you might actually not get this directly uh, that is if you do not already log into your gmail account on this same browser that you're using um i already did that is why it took me directly here you can see here that my already making use of the Gmail account already open down this browser. If not, it will take you to another screen where you choose uh, the particular Gmail account you want to use in logging in uh, user analytics. So here we are, the first on the analytics box, so we click on start measuring. So once this window open, here you have an account name required. Now what you are starting to actually enter here should not be a personal name, it should be uh, basically, your business name. For example, I can choose to use um, a password here. Um, a password. Scroll down. Now, here is asking uh, Do you, the such op sharing options give you more control by sharing you? Now, do you want to receive all this from Google, uh, Google Product and Services? If you want to check it, if not, remove it. Now, the next thing you need to do is click on next. Now, once you click on next, it brings you um, to the property. Um, name window and for the property name you can still go ahead to use an um endocraft word and um, um web analysis I just and then I move ahead here then here I can choose my time zone um since I'm making a video for Nigeria I'm gonna choose Nigeria so I click here and um automatically Nigeria time is set and here is asking me to choose my currency. This US dollar screen size as the default. So I can scroll down. Do I have a, uh, so I just leave it at that on the US dollar. Then the next thing I want to do, if you click on show advanced options, that's just to create a universal analytics property. That's not what we're actually working with. So let's go on and click on next. So it takes you um, to setting up your business, it requires your business information. Now, which industry category do you actually uh, fall? Within, so here we have the ads. You say scroll down and look for the ones that you actually, you know, uh, the business for category of business fall in. So, for uh, let's take for example, I want to choose let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say. Um, let me just choose this jobs and education for example, please. So, now business side, what's business side? Let's say you have between 11 to 100 employees, choose that. Then how do you tend to use Google Analytics with your business? So here you need to actually, you know, tell analytics or choose here how you intend to use it. Now, what do you want to use it for? Is it to measure customer engagement uh, with your site or your app? Uh, how customers are engaging? Which page do they like more? Which page do they visit? Uh, what do they click? Uh, where do they spend most of their time on your website? So you can get all the details by clicking here. Uh, do you want to use it to optimize your site or app experience? Uh, you can Check it. So as many options that you want here, you want to optimize your advertising cost and know how to, you know, spend your money advertising. Know where to, know how to, and know where countries and how to age gender and 
um, demographic, you can go ahead and choose it. You want to increase your conversions, you click here, analyze and online sales. Uh, um, if you're running an e commerce website, you can choose that. You want to make sure your lead generation are you going to be using it in your app install? Uh, you want to know how many people yeah, have actually downloaded your app and also install it. So, yeah, it all depends. Make sure that it's across multiple devices and platforms. Yes, choose this. Uh, make sure content monetization as if you're going to be monetizing your content, can go ahead and choose this. So, the next thing you want to do here is click on create. Now you have the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement, uh, which you actually expected to accept. But before that, you need to actually you know read about Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. Here. So it's read, scroll down, and you read through. Now once you're done, once you're done, um, click check to accept it. Um, also, these are the Google Measurement Control. Now, control data prediction times. You also need to read through. But once you're done reading through, come here, check this, and click on I accept. So you need to wait. It's loading. So here you have the email communications. Now, what kind of email, uh, email do you want Google to actually send to your Gmail account? Uh, regarding analytics, is it official announcement? If you want future announcement, um, go ahead and check it. Check it. Offers from Google. Yeah, go ahead and check it if you want this too. Offers suggestions about how you need to you know, optimize your website and um, know more about Google Analytics. This is your page. You can go ahead and check it. If you want to participate in Google Service and Analytics program, go ahead and check it. So once um, you've done this. You need to actually click on save. Now the check was here. Here we need to actually create a data stream. Now the uh, the data stream will actually allow us to start collecting data about uh, analysis of uh, uh, the platform that we actually want to install um, this analysis. So we're not going to be using it on Android app. But we're actually using it on website. So we can go ahead. If you're using it on Android app, you can actually go ahead and click on the digital unit. So go ahead and click on web. So you have here, you need to set up a stream um, by actually entering uh, your website address. This boss, mine is edgeworld.com.ng. Um, so the name of your website. So Once you're done typing that, uh, you want to leave an ask measurement check, just leave it um, the way it is. Go ahead and um, uh, click on create um, string. Now, for the enhanced uh, measurement, uh, uh, this is this should actually, as I said, you need to actually leave it um, checked. The reason that's so that you can actually have some measurements and be able to optimize the page views, scrolls, advanced click sites. Um, search video engagements and um, find downloads on your website. So you actually need to leave this click on create stream. So here we are. Now you have your measurement ID here. You may need to copy it and save it somewhere. Um the stream name, which is the name of your website and this um, you already the stream um, ID here. So your measurement ID is actually similar to your tracking ID which usually start with the uh, um, UA. At this stage, what you should do is to click on the global size tab, um, the one in bracket gtag.js. So you actually need to click on this. So click. Now, once you click, um, you see this code. So this is the code you're going to be copying here. So what you need to do is click here to copy it. So click here. Now, um, copy the global size tag into the edge section of your channel, or if you use the website builder. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Just Click on copy. Now, once it's copy, you actually need to head back to your WordPress dashboard. So, once you're here, click on uh, plugin, then the add new plugin. In the search bar, on the search bar, search plugin bar here, type in the search headers and footers. Add header and footer. 
So uh, you have all this showing, but uh, basically we are looking at one by WP uh, beginner. So you click on external. And then activate it. And once it's activated, it should take you to the screen of all the installed um, plugin on your WordPress website. So, all you need to do now is go to settings and under settings, click on insert headers and footers. So as I said, um, all you need to do is actually under the scripts in header, make sure you actually um, paste the code that you copy there. So click on paste to do that. So you scroll down and click on save. Another way that you can actually install analytics on your WordPress website um, is actually um, using the Google site kit. Now to do this, what you need to do is to still go back to add new, go back to add new. Now, under the search plugin, in the search plugin sidebar, type in search kit. So, this is search kit by Google Analytics, search console, AdSense, Spread. Now, it's an all in one plugin to actually monitor your analytics, um, search console, AdSense, and your uh, website uh, comment. Page and metro. So, all you need to do now is to click on the start button. So, then activate it. So, we're here. So, you can start to you know, check this to uh, MDO collect. Um, so, go ahead and check it. Now, you have to hold on because SiteKit actually needs to check the compatibility of the WordPress site. So basically, that's what it's doing here, checking the site compatibility. So once that is confirmed, you press have this button and you have to click on Start Setup. Now, that um, brings you here. So to verify that you own this blog and set up your site compatibility, site kit with Google.com, it wants to access your blog. So you actually need to now sign in with your uh, Gmail. Now, remember what I said at the reception of this tutorial. Uh, basically, I would have, I would advise that you always, you know, open your Gmail account uh, or log into your open and log log into your Gmail account directly here on your website on your uh, browser before uh, you go ahead and do all this. So the next thing we want to do now is to click on sign in with Google. Once you're here, so. Is what I'm using, so I'm going to click on it. So, site kits actually we actually require access to Google account um, to manage your search console and uh, site and domain control. So, go ahead and click on continue. So, now at this stage, now you need to actually verify and uh, proceed with verifying the ownership. Of your WordPress site, so you click on proceed. These three steps here actually need to be completed. Now, after verifying, proceeding with this, uh, you have to allow your blog to have actually have access to the Google account data. And uh, the last one is that you need to actually set up your search console. So don't forget to click on proceed. So we are done with the first one. So you have a verified owner. Of the blog, which is my blog. So here, um, you see my blog because um, that's the site title. I would have changed it. Um, that is what I actually used when I was installing uh, this particular WordPress uh, subdirectory. So let's do it like that. You just will actually show the name or the title of your website here, not my blog. Actually. So the next thing you need to do is to allow um, your WordPress website to have access to the Google account data. So click on allow. 
Oh, you've actually, actually done with the third one. Then it, and the, third, uh, the second one, the third one now is the search of the search code. So all you need to do is to click on Add Site. So you see, congratulations, you successfully set up Site Kit. You can now see how your site appears in search, how many visitors you got from search, the popular pages, and how people find them from search. Now, what actually happened here is that automatically, uh, site kit um, actually automatically um, use the data under your um, Gmail account that you've already used to set up the analytics. It's actually automatically sync it to your website website without actually um, you getting to do nothing. Nothing. So it's actually very easy. So what you need to go to my dashboard. So here you never make a mistake as long as uh, you're actually making use. Of the same Gmail account that you're using setting up the Google Analytics. So here we are. Congrats on completing this setup for site kit. Now you'll be able to see how your site is in search. So you can see uh, one more other things that you can actually do with your site kit is to connect your AdSense account if you actually have AdSense. So connect your analytics. That's what we're going to do now. So let's click here now. Um, under here you have a page inside you can actually you know uh, check information about your core web vitals uh, and improve on it here but this is where we're coming to analysis so click on analysis so what we're going to do now is try to now connect um since we've set up the search console so we need to now connect analysis so here we are go ahead and click and the same Gmail account, don't forget the same Gmail account that you use in setting up your analytics. So click on continue. Uh, SiteKids already has some access, so click on continue. So here we are. So your analytics is actually connected. So one of these place under your account, um, can decide to use this, the one we created on the password, so click on it. Basically, that's what we're going to be using on this side. So, please don't forget that you should uh, click on your the analytics account, the name of the analytics account that you actually set up. So, here we are now. So, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, click on configure analytics. So, allow site keys to go ahead and configure analytics for you. So, you can see it. It says analytics connected so that's that's it these are the two ways that you can actually go ahead the two and uh, i can use the word shortest way that you can actually go ahead you know and um, connect analytics to the wordpress website and you can actually um, scroll down stick trying to you know get a data about your, about the website but later it's going to populate um, the whole code so that's it please do not forget to uh, you know, subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video, and also share it. Also, do not forget to actually hit the notification button so that you can be aware when we upload new videos. Please do share. Someone out there may actually be in need of the information content in this video tutorial. Thank you for staying to the end.